Hi, Mama Two Shoes is back and this time I am for the very first time making my own soap. Um, I'm doing this for Christmas gifts. This is the first time I've ever tried this. I got a recipe off of Pinterest and it seemed pretty simple so I'm going to walk you through it and let's hope it goes okay. <laughs> the only things that I needed were the soap which I bought on Amazon. This is just like the soap base. Um, you can use any kind of soap base you want, but I chose to use goat's milk soap. And as you can see, this is a suspension formula. And all that means that is that when you put something into the soap, like I'm going to today, um, all the little particles are not going to fall to the bottom of your soap bars. They will evenly distribute throughout the bar. I think this is a two pound package. so. Um, I took it out of the package and cut it into cubes, so I only wanted one pound. So there's my one pound of soap base. It was very easy to cut. I just used a kitchen knife and cutting board. Uh, I put it in a Pyrex because I'm going to microwave it um, until it melts. And then once I take it out of the microwave, I'm going to add coffee for kind of like an exfoliated exfoliation aspect, I guess. Um, you know, coffee is really good for your skin and it, it'll also exfoliate. Um, I'm just going to eyeball the amount. This is just kind of trial and error. So we'll see. And then the last step is to add a fragrance to it. Um, I bought this on Amazon as well. It's just a vanilla scent um, from Eternal Essence. You can see that. It's, it's going to focus. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But anyway, it just has a little dropper on it. And I'm going to put a few drops. I don't really know how many. Um, the direction suggested doing that because the coffee itself isn't really going to smell once it's mixed in. It's really just for um, the looks of it and for an exfoliator. So I'm going to microwave my Pyrex and then we'll mix it all together. I've been microwaving my Pyrex container full of soap on 20 second intervals on high power. I just wanted to see um, show you how it's looking. This has only been 40 seconds so far, so I'm going to put it back in. Take my spoon out, of course, and do another 20. Hey, you can see me in the reflection. <laughs> 20 seconds, and then we're going to see what it looks like once it's all melted. All right, we are all melted. I show you the consistency is pretty liquidy. It's like a little bit thicker than milk. So, of course it's liquidy. <laughs> All right, now next I am going to add the coffee. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in. Again, I'm just eyeballing this. I never done this before, so we're just gonna guess. There's one scoop. Stir it up. Now this portion of it, I know you have to work kind of quickly because you want your soap to harden up again. It's kind of hard to hold this steady and stir. Kind of looks like a Oreo ice cream. What do you call that? Um, cookies and cream. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Kind of turn it to a light brown color. Now I'm going to add the oil. I'm just going to add a few drops and I'm going to go off camera so I can use both hands. Okay, you can kind of tell that I put some oil in there. You see the little droplets? I did about two full um, squeezies of it. <laughs> I am really messing up on my lingo here. Sorry, you have to excuse me. I'm just going to stir it up and then I'm going to pour it into my mold, which I also bought on Amazon. Amazon's awesome. Um, this is just a silicone mold. See, it's really flexible. And I don't know if it really has to be silicone, but again, I wasn't really sure how this was all going to turn out. And I wanted, to, I wanted to be able to pop my soap bars out fairly easily. Um, but I think a stiff plastic would work too. This is just what I side use. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it in there. 
Okay, there you go. Looks like one pound of goat's milk soap uh, gave me six bars. This is how tall they are. It's kind of hard to tell. Put my finger in there. So, I don't know, inch and a half tall. Um, it was fairly easy to pour in there. I didn't make any spills because the Pyrex has its own little uh, pouring spout on it. That's why I like to use Pyrex. But now we'll just wait for them to set and they'll be done. Um, I did read online that, see the little bubbles that are on top? If that bothers you, you can put rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle and just um, squirt a little bit over top until the bubbles disappear. So it doesn't really bother me. I might try that next time, but again, this was just um, first time I've done this. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.